Hi, welcome to Deface Games. As Starfield is now globally released and making some big ripples in gaming world, you might be wondering about the best thing about Bethesda games. And that is mods. Yes, while we may have to wait for some game-changing mods, there are already a number of great mods out there to enhance your Starfield experience and fix the messed up stuff. But to start your modding adventure in Starfield, you must know about the mod managers first. Basically, there are two main mod managers. One is Vortex by Nexus Mods, which is built on top of old Nexus Mod Manager, and there is the Mod Organizer 2, popularly written as MO2. In our opinion, Mod Organizer is far better choice as it gives you a lot of control, easy to use interface and it is no advertisements no shady stuff software. It keeps your game clean and organized, and has many advanced features to make your modding life easy. Today in this video, we'll be walking you through the step-by-step -step process of installing and setting up Mod Organizer 2 for Starfield. So, let's start the process by downloading it first. Firstly note that at time of this video, the Mod Organizer 2 is currently in beta state for Starfield support. To download the official version, you need to go to the Mod Organizer's official Discord channel and get the installer build from their Dev Builds channel. The official Discord link and a direct mirror link, both are given in description below. After downloading the setup, open up the executable file and start the installation wizard. We recommend that you install the Mod Manager on same drive as your Starfield game directory, where you can easily find it later on. Follow the next installation instructions and let it finish its process. After the installation is done, launch Mod Organizer 2 and you will be presented with Create Instance window. Here choose Create a Portable Instance. What it does is that it installs all mod files in the folder where the mod manager is installed. Now here if you see your Starfield game listed, select that, but if it's not there you need to browse to your Starfield directory to make the game available for Mod Organizer. Make sure you select the folder where the data folder of Starfield resides in. It's same where your Starfield.exe file is. Next is Mod Data Storage Location. Make sure it's same as MO2 installation directory and proceed. Double check everything and hit finish. Now, if this is your very first time using a mod manager, we strongly recommend that you click yes here to follow the guided tutorial of software. This will open up the main interface window of mod manager. There is this downloads tab. Let's try to download a mod for our game right away. But before that, you need to configure mod manager to open the Nexus download links. To do that open this settings panel here, go to the Nexus tab and click this associate with links button and hit OK. This will enable the downloading of mods directly into our mod manager. One more very important point is to make sure our INI files are properly set to run mods. For that click this tools icon and open the INI editor. On the Starfield custom tab, make sure you have these parameters set there exactly like this. If these are not there, copy paste these from description below. Click save and close this panel. Now, let's go to the Nexus Mods website and select a mod to download. Actually, this first one here is really great mod, let's open up its page. Go to Files tab and click this Mod Manager download button. Proceed with this next download button and you will see this very little download started notification on bottom. As you can see here, the mod has finished downloading. Now to install it, just right click the mod and choose the very first option which says Install. What you see here is the Mod Customization panel. This is something specific to each mod. On most mods you will not encounter this, but it is something that lets you customize the settings of mod being installed. Pick the relevant options and hit next to proceed. The mod is now successfully installed, and here we tick this checkbox it to enable the mod. Let's try to play the game to see if it works or not. Make sure Starfield is selected and hit run button. If you are using the Steam version, then of course you need to start Steam first, otherwise like us, proceed with continue without Steam. You can select this Remember My Choice option to make it persist. Now this window, it only appears if you have your game in Mod Organizer installed on Drive which is different from your default Windows Drive. To make everything work smoothly, these programs need the admin access, for that just hit this big button and the Mod Manager will restart with admin privileges. Everything seems fine, let's try running the game now. Mod Manager gets locked which is normal, this is to prevent unnecessary changes while the game is running. One other very important thing to note is that, always run the game from inside Mod Organizer software. If you launch the game from outside Mod Manager, the mods will not work.
We are inside the game now, and this is the Lodge of Constellation headquarters if we are not wrong. Let's open up the inventory. Here it is, you can see the inventory is now changed due to our installed mod, nice and compact. And there you have it. You've successfully installed and set up Mod Organizer 2 for Starfield and also install the mod for your game. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more Starfield content. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop a comment below and we will answer. Thanks for watching, 